Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the spin finish. What are the spin finish components are required? What are the properties of spin finish required? And what are the basic rule and how the spin finish has been applied on the your filament? Why so, there is need or why there is need of your spin finish? In earlier lectures we have discussed about this spin finish also. So during that time we yes, we have talked about why spin finish is basically required for the efficient processing and when we are converting that filament and which can be used for the various applications so although fin finish is just a layer of few molecules which has been applied onto the surface of fiber so one of the most important variables that will be deciding dedicating their performance quality and uniformity of processing so these are the basic rules of spin finish for is your lubrication so that will reduce the friction between the yarns and metallic surface so that is required for this fiber to or filament to metal friction so that need to be reduced so this property should be there in spin finish second property required is your anti static property so that will allow the dissipation of static charges which has been generated due to the contact with the yarn and yarn with the machine parts so this static charge dissipation is one of the most important parameter in case of the filament yarn or man made fibers third important role is your cohesiveness the all the filaments when you are the, they are processing they need should they need to have the cohesiveness between each other to get your yarn so after that that can be winded onto your so winding or unwinding will be easier so lubrication how this lubrication can be provided that can be provided by aliphatic or alkyl molecules which could have low van der waal forces and if we talk about the anti static properties that can be provided by the polar molecules which have the strong hydrogen or ionic bonding the spin finish needs this both the molecules and it can be generally made by emulsifying alkyl molecules with the help of surfactants and this balance should be there in all this two components or two ingredients that could be aliphatic or alkyl molecules so we'll talk about here. what are the molecules. properties so of this finish should be the role is your so first primary function, function of your spin finish second is your anti static or two third is your the surface lubrication to the filament second is your anti static property and third is your cohesion ions there is good fiber to fiber cohesion should be there in order to perform all these properties so so the, what are the properties are required first it should provide the good lubrication to reduce the fiber to metal friction in order to prevent this fiber abrasion and maintain the low uniform tension during processing next is to reduce it should reduce the static charges which has been built up during the processing third is a balanced degree of cohesion is necessary so as too much lubric much lubricity may cause the fiber slippage resulting the package distortion in winding and other operation for the four properties required is the control viscosity range if it is too low viscosity that will cause the difficulty in slinging and if it is and lower yarn friction values and if it is too high viscosity that causes the excessive add on coupled with the high frictional values for co consistent viscosity the spin finish must be resistant to the bacterial growth so antibacterial antibacterial property should be there or uh, that should have the certain antibacterial agent should be there and next is the scoverability that is ease of removal that is poor scoverability that will ultimately lead or cause the tying problem and potential soiling spots next is the corrosion resistance it should be corrosion resistant and should not cause the damage to the roller next is your it should be non allergic non toxic and ecologically acceptable the spin finish are generally applied in emulsion and they should be easily emulsified the next part is your spin finish component so 
although the spin finish is the only minor or transient part of the total fiber production systems it plays a very important role in the processing so if you talk about this spin finish application components the spin finish invariably contains a large number of chemical components and the major components are lubricant anti static agent and the emulsifier in addition to the spin finish content small proportion of the antioxidant antibacterial products or corrosion inhibitors deformator or rubber and adhesive can be added and the excellent account of recent advancement has been taken place in the chemistry of spin finish and the chemicals that has been used in each categories are in case of lubricant we can use the natural lubricant we can use the synthetic lubricant that could be your mineral oil waxes or vegetable oils similarly in case of synthetic lubricant we can use the ester group that is butyl ester and there are fatty acids synthetic fatty acid can be used in case of anti static agent that could be ionic one cationic one or amphoteric so in anionic we could have the alkyl acid phosphate and their salt and in case of cationic we can say that the example is your quaternary ammonium and other elements can be used alkali oxide and if you see about the emulsifier that also has the ion, uh, anionic emulsifier cationic emulsifier non ionic emulsifier and toric emulsifiers the anionic are fatty acid soaps cationic can be fatty amines and polyglycols or amino acids so these are certain different components are which are necessary for the spin finish the spin finish which can be basically used for the filament yarns the high spinning speed is much more often combined with these drawing steps so we can form this modern high speed draw winding systems so the requirement of spin finish at high winding speed are that is keeping the filament bundle together what should have the it should we should facilitate this drawing of filament avoiding the spacing of capillaries from the filament bundle on the gauges and provide the good package formation on the winder and imparting the low frictional low friction so when we are selecting this staple fiber finishes that should be taken care that it should consist it consists of two cohesion cerosite anti static agents like pocl3 base esters or large amount of water characteristics different fatty acids are there so these are the universal application rates for the polyester staple fibers has been there like in case of poly cotton blend it should be 0.12 0.2% on the weight of fiber similarly if you want to produce the rayon blend then it should be 0.3% for wool it is 0.2 to 0.3% and others it could be range in the 0.4 to 1% that will depend upon the which type of tenure we need to produce so the spin finish applications normally the spinning room and take up room has been separated by four and that we have already discussed they have this difference in the atmospheric pressures which can be at the spinning room it is slightly higher than that of your take up room and this will ultimately allows the cooling air to flow from the along the delicate yarns the spinning spin and the, the spin finish can be applied by different techniques that could be a kiss roll that could be spray so the spin finish is normally sprayed under the filament in the high spinning spinning machines so they can be applied by different many techniques we'll discuss one of the one by one about the different spin finish applications so the dipping roller method so in this we can see that a systematic sketch of dipping roller method has been there displayed in this figure so in this we can see that this is a roller which rotated at the constant speed which has been partially immersed in the trough that is finished trough 
which has the finishing lubricant uh, finishing elements has been there finish has been there and it has been partially merged inside this trough and to which the spin finish solutions is supplied from the overhead tanks and overflow arrangement provides the constant level of filling with an excess solution flowing the back to the intermediate vessel whatever the excess finishes there that can be overflowed and that has been there is arrangement has been there the spin finish adds to the surface of this roller in the film form in the form of film and the film thickness that will ultimately depend upon the what is the roller velocity and what is the viscosity and concentration of your spin finish solution if you talk about this so how much amount of film thickness has been applied onto this filament which is coming from the spin thread so that will ultimately depend upon the how much amount of roller speed what is the viscosity and concentration of your spin finish solution the yarn or generally touch touches this kiss roller what is this with no roller we normally call it as a kiss roller and yarn is normally just touching this filament yarn the touching this kiss roller tangentially or at certain slightly wrapping angle the direction of this angle travel and the roller direction must be the same the condition is most more important here what is the direction of your yarn and the direction of your roller which has been moving rotating that should be same if they move in the opposite directions so there is more spacing the finish is also greater so that need to be taken care and the lubrication application that will ultimately depend upon the lubricant viscosity its weighting property and roller speed next year and if you see that why this method dipping roller method that is basically useful for the high filament denier and the products which require relatively high amount of spin finish to be applied like we can say that the example is your carpet yarns that could be your staple fibers so this advantage of this system is certain at uh, this uh, de uh, degree of irregularity in the applications that could be how you that can may not be determined in the most cases because of this system is open it can be more willingness to the bacterial growth so that could be the chances of bacterial growth because this system is much open so the excellent account of this systems its advantage and disadvantage has been given by the sappers vaidya and adwalan the system is your metered finish systems so metered finish systems here you can see that this so this system has been used since the introduction of your high speed spinning system because it has the ability to apply a even small amount of lubricant to this yarn and exactly and uniformly so in this system we can see that there is a yarn guide which is supplied with the spin finish formulations by means of gear pump and the most of these lubricant guides are generally made up of sinters aluminum oxides and an expensive closed circuit used for the high bacteria sensitive spin finish so what are the factors which are affecting this systems are first is your variation in the revolution per minute of your pump drive this is a pump drive so what is the variation and the revolution speed of this what is the viscosity and differential pressure across this pump so this system is basically as i already said that is basically suitable for high speed spinning process both could be polyester or nylon for fine counts and for sensitivity to the subsequent processes including friction texturing process no guide is required prior to the application and there is a very less drag in the systems with the thread guide so apart from this meter meter finish systems there is one more system which has been not included in this part that is that is the spraying techniques so in the systems we generally applying this spraying onto this fin finish or spray uh, spraying that fin finish onto the filament by means of the like the spray technology and in that there is a, we can say that there is not uniform 
or not even amount of lubrication has been applied so normally but if you want to produce the sample then we can go for this uh, spray technology or we can go for the dipping roller method but if you see the heels by component systems they have using this dipping roller method for the production for the small amount of sample if you want to produce so these are the different spin finish tiered systems we have seen what are the different spin finish components what are these properties of spin finish should be there what is the basic rule of spin finish so if you know that when we are talking about this spin finish even though spin finish is not that much a uh, big part in this topics but it is one of the important playing the important role in, in processing and performance and bit of your final product so these are the very much important part of your topic so in next lecture we will discuss about the drawing operation and heat setting operation so till that stay tuned thank you so much